Welcome back to Calverton, Calverton folks. This is Colby, and playing some City Skylines, of course. And, uh, off camera, I did a fairly large expansion of uh, Riverside. We, I zoned some more uh, housing, because as you can see, our demand is really high. I also put in a city park. Um, we're going to call that um, just call that Elm Grove Park for now. Maybe down the road we'll rename it. Not exactly sure. But let's take and to address the overwhelming demand for housing. We're gonna throw a bunch more. While we head over here, okay, let's check the college because we haven't checked that in a while. Uh, okay, it's maxed out. Then let's add, to see if we can even, we can increase it even more. We will throw in School of Engineering. What does a School of Engineering get us? Students help local businesses with innovation solutions for higher product quality. General zoned industry income while reducing city water consumption and sewage output. Faculty increases campus attractiveness. Area. Okay. Where we're gonna put the engineering school over here. There we go. That's a really cool building. I like what they did with a lot of the campus buildings. Um, you got catwalks or uh, skywalks between them. So that hopefully that might even increase our um, need for uh, some industry. Don't have much industrial demand right now. Earlier, I think it was before the last episode, I um, lowered the tax rates for everything because we have, well, we had plenty of money. starting to hemorrhage a bit. Loans, uh, let's see, budget. I don't really even mess with the budget. Like, if ever. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Uh, still get people needing 
places needing workers. It's like, jeez, folks. I don't know what to tell you. We've been trying to recruit people to come live here. Maybe if we throw down a cruise terminal. I was debating doing that earlier. Eventually I want to have it over here, but... For now... I'm going to put it... pleasing and eventually that might get replaced with some commercial but we need housing now let's see can we we can expand Taylorville
just gonna hazard a guess that that's broken a lot of the... Oh no, I guess it didn't. Yeah, perhaps my planing actually, my prior planning, didn't screw this up.
Alright, so we get those two plotted out for later. Uh, after I take a break, eat some lunch, I'm gonna, I'll come back and put those in. But, let's actually make sure we have Elder Care. to the way.
because we haven't really, we haven't actually even addressed it. Um, we're gonna put in a couple of uh, we're gonna put in a couple of these just to make sure. Looks a little out of place, but eventually this area will kind of build in. It will look as out of place. It'll probably still be one of the biggest buildings in the uh, city, but it's not going to be something that's going to look so garishly out of place. Okay, we're starting to. We're really kind of hemorrhaging some money here, so let's. bunch it a bit. Alright, now we're seeing it going in the red. Every now and then it fluctuates. We'll have your times when we're breaking in money like mad, and then other times we'll be hemorrhaging money like it's going out of style. But that's why I build up a big reserve. Definitely, we're gonna we're gonna start developing the oil. Yeah, because thirty percent of our income is actually coming from the campuses.
because that's actually a really good way to uh, get a ton of money. Uh, that explains why hardly anyone's coming in. I can't. In the next episode, for the next couple of episodes, like I said, we will build the oil up, and then we will build the forestry up, or we'll do it in reverse. And uh, this little area will end up becoming another little forestry community, um, uh, logging down. Colby, oh.